Hassan and welcome to my channel where I help you to stay up to date with the latest crypto, NFT and financial news. For the record, you are getting this news from my perspective. As an historian, a former banker and an investor who has been in the crypto market since late 2017. And with all of that out of the way, let's get into today's video. There is an article by Cointelegraph written by Tom Blackstone and it says Circa launches cross-chain USDC transfer protocol for Ethereum Avalanche. The new protocol burns coins on the sending chain and mints new ones on the receiving chain. Circa, the creator of the US dollar coin, USDC, has launched a mainnet protocol that lets users transfer USDC between Ethereum and Avalanche. According to an April 26th announcement, Previously, Avalanche users who held USDC on Ethereum had to deposit their coins to the Circle partner or use a third-party bridge to transfer their USDC from one network to the other. The new cross-chain transfer protocol, CCTP protocol, appears to do away with this need for USDC bridges. The team released a video on April 13th showing how the new protocol works. Unlike a traditional bridge, it doesn't lock tokens sent to its contract. Instead, it completely destroys them and it's just new tokens on the receiving network. Cool. Users can redeem these new tokens for bank deposits directly by depositing the tokens with Circle or its partners. In the announcement, the team said that it expects CCTP to solve the problem of fragmentation in the Web3 ecosystem. Currently, there are multiple unofficial versions of USDC floating around on various networks, most of which are the results of tokens on one network being bridged to another. Now that there is an official way to transfer coins from one network to another, the team expects these unofficial copies to slowly decline in use making the token less confusing to use. The team said that many of the largest cross-chain protocols have already pledged to the use CCTP going forward, including Sailor, Hyperlane, Layer Zero, Life, Metamask, I heard a little bit of marks, <laughs> Wormhole, and others. So if you've heard about the, all of those uh, <laughs> partners, well, give yourself a cool clap. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Joe Reginato, Circle's vice president of the product, said he believes the new protocol will help improve liquidity and capital efficiency in decentralized finance, which is very important. Quote unquote, with CCTP, developers can simplify the user experience and their users can trust that they are always transaction, transacting with a highly liquid, safe, and fungible asset in a native USDC. USDC is a fiat-backed stablecoin issued by Circle. The company claims that each USDC token is backed dollar for dollar in its reserves. Users can mint USDC by opening an account and depositing cash with either Circle itself or one of its partners, such as Coinbase. Once they've done this, they can receive the coin on several networks, including Ethereum, Avalanche, Stellar, and Polkadot. Users have lost billions of dollars worth of USDC and other cryptocurrencies due to bridge hacks over the past few years, as attackers have repeatedly figured out how to remove locked tokens locked coins from bridge contracts and leave their copies on the receiving network with no backing. This has left developers wondering how to secure bridges for, for future use as the digital assets become more mainstream. And it's also easier for, for hackers to hack into these kind of contracts when the platforms that they are being developed on are not actually completely decentralized and DeFi. And having a stable coin like USDC um, will not be too popular in the US because of 
the SEC uh, wanted to have control of the market and that the US government don't want any competition for their dollar and the banks don't like this because they want to um, uh, what should I say give uh, their customers another project that don't have as high yield but of course the banks can earn more money on it but that's uh, that's a story for another day, day another time anyways that was the video I hope that you liked it Thank you for watching, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe so you don't miss the latest news and while you're at it you can watch another video here and here and I will see you in the next one. Hold it up!